Big Brothers Big Sisters is looking for people to become a volunteer mentor or a big. Yeah, the program has an urgent need for bigs, and it may be easier than you think to get involved. Joined now by Tom Gualiardo, Guali Guali the CEO of Big Brothers Big Sisters of Erie Niagara and the Southern Tier. Tom, thanks so much for being with us this afternoon. Thanks, Dave, for having me. All right, let's talk a little bit about uh, the need for volunteers. How urgent is it, and why do you think that it's become such a need for you guys? So we have, as we all talk right now, we have about 125 children who are waiting for a big brother or big sister. Um, so through our through our uh, good friends at Kelton Enterprises, um, people can learn a little bit about becoming a big while they do Western New York's favorite thing and uh, go through uh, Tim Horton's drive-through. Um, the need for volunteers has increased over the last, I would say, six to maybe eight, nine months um, as children have come out of you know the two-year pandemic, um, the challenges that we've all had kind of navigating that isolation, um, the need for volunteers has never been any greater. So you talk about that need, and I kind of want you to elaborate on that. You know, COVID has impacted so many different, impacted us in so many different ways. How else has it impacted you guys at Big Brothers Big Sisters? So, so George, I, you know, I, it's just the isolation and the and the complete removal from uh, uh, support systems and connections with other individuals. Um, the, you know, the children have have gone through that for two full school years. Um, so, the, the need for support and having someone in your corner. I think we all need that, right? At the end of the day, we all need someone in our corner. Um, and there's been a growing number of children who are who we're trying to help navigate um, and becoming a big brother or big sisters allows uh, uh, the community to kind of volunteer their time with us in give back. Tom, people might think that it's a complicated process to either be a volunteer or a big uh, or in un some other capacity with big brothers, big sisters. But this really is a process that a lot of people will have no issue going through. So really, Dave, at the end of the day, I, we always say this. We don't ever want you to change your life, right? So if Saturday is Delaware Park jog or basketball, or if it is grocery shopping at Wegmans or Tops, there's there's an opportunity to engage with a child and, 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 and kind of kind of listen to to what their day was like, what their week was like. Um, and, you know, re, it is really not a large commitment of time. It is just an opportunity for some, for folks to give back, kind of be that sounding board. Bumpers in a bowling alley is my language. <laughs> and, and a two-part question here. I'm curious, you know, what you hear from the volunteer big side. What do they get out of something like this on their end? And then what are you looking for in a big? So, so what we're looking for is someone who can make uh, a commitment um, of time um, and, and share kind of their, their, their experiences, open doors, uh, new opportunities for the children in our program. Um, and what, what we hear, what I hear mostly from the volunteers in our program is uh, they, they are surprised sometimes how much they get back out of volunteering um, with a child in our program. Um, they, they, uh, they learn a little bit about themselves. They learn a little bit about new communities. Um, it, it is a, it is a win-win for all involved. Tom, you all are partnering with Tim Hortons. Tell us a little bit about that partnership. So it's through Kelton Enterprises at, uh, oh boy, almost 30 plus locations throughout Western New York. And as I kind of had shared, uh, it is an opportunity for Western New Yorks to, to learn a little bit about us while they do their favorite pastime and going through a Tim Hortons drive through They'll see our signs. Um, they can uh, learn a little bit more by going to biggertogether.org, calling the telephone number, um, or even kind of scanning the QR code that they'll see on the signs. And they'll learn a little bit more about becoming a big and ways to engage. Awesome. Really such a great organization. Um, we'll make sure we have all this information up on our website, wivb.com, for anyone who's interested. Tom, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you both.